Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So tonight we're going to be brewing, uh, brewing, not brewing anything. We're going to be drinking this fella. Peco Smash from Lenton Lane Brewery in Nottingham. It's a single malt, single hop beer. Um, bottle conditioned. And it is... Uh, not see, why do I, can't I see the ABV? 5.1% ABV. Oh, it's there on that side. Going blind. So, it looks like I've got new neighbours. Neighbour on the side put his house up to let. So, God knows what that was about. Whether it's the whole house, half the house or what. And he was out doing the garden the other day. And then all of a sudden it says it's, it's, it's gone. So, see who we get for neighbours. Their house backs onto us. So we're not joined onto them, thank God. But, they are n near enough. So if they're noisy fuckers, there's going to be some interesting times. Hopefully, it won't be. But you never know. I mean, neighbours can cause you as much hassle as bad workmates. And a bad workplace. But, uh, I don't have any luck. It's three gorgeous blondes, eh? Fuck you know, that'll be something, wouldn't it? Hey, never been that lucky. <laughs> Although we did have nurses across the road at one stage, funnily enough. So, good lacing around the edge. Golden paw, big ripe frothy head. And it says here, another first for our smash range. Peco Smash is one of our favourites to date with the Peco Hop. Providing a drinkable body with a low bitterness. The colour is pale. So, I got this from um, adventurebeer.com in a beer hall. And you'll find out that I do get a lot of my beers, because to be honest, it's, it's hard work. Well, half the time you can't get to the shops because I'm at work anyway myself. And the shops are only open for so many hours because obviously. The likes of, say, Lincoln Green, they're only open from 10 to 1. And then they'll probably be brewing beer. You know, they're brewing beer four days a week. So obviously if they're working at the same sort of times I'm working, so uh, Adventure Beer comes in handy because, you know, they're um, fetching the beers. You're paying at the same sort of price anyway. And... Uh, Trying to get the nose. Mm. Very different nose. Um, I'm trying to pick it out, that's for sure. Although I've just been to the pub and had um, on the eat out to help out. Well, I don't mind eating out and helping out, especially if it's half price. I had a garlic. Um, Garlic bread with cheese and uh, mushrooms on the top, and then with some blue cheese sauce as well. <sighs> Went down the tree, and then I had the mega mixed grill, and uh, I ate all but about four chips. <sighs> Put my belly absolutely stodged. <sighs> <sighs> I was at the Ram Inn in just in Arnold, Red Hill. Yeah, I walked in, it was absolutely rammed. But fair play, bloke on the door, telling us about all the social distancing measures and uh, proper decent, whether he was the manager or not, I don't know, or, or just a very good member of staff. But yeah, bang on, you, you can't fault the way they were. And clear directions, telling you about sanitizer, uh, seating you, you know, we're, seat, we're sat back to back. Now, you, the, the risk of getting coronavirus back to back is nil. And then the distance between, you know, the tables were actually spaced out pretty normal in a lot of ways. But it's just that uh, you sit back to back, like I say, the, the chance of getting it is, is, is there. Right, let's have a go at this. And uh, So I can't quite pick out that nose. 
There is a there is a aroma on there, but I can't pick it up. struggling to pick it out. My brain will come back to me in a minute. I had a pint of bombardier in the pub. Who in a lot of ways has lost its um, identity since it went from Wells Brewery to Eagle Brewery. Because obviously everyone knew bombardier and then they bought out bombardier gold. Or burning gold, it might have been burning gold, but I think it was Bombardier Gold. So you had standard Bombardier, which is the amber, and Bombardier Gold. And uh, and they lost that, the the Patriot thing off the front, you know, the Rick Mail thing. And um, yeah, a lot of people were up in arms about that. Ooh, yeah. Blimey. So I got soaked to the skin today at work and uh, I've just been sat in the pub sitting there. You know, because you're, you're warm, got warm feet again, nice dry warm feet and uh, I'm pretty much warm all over. And I um, absolutely went down a treat. We've got an adventure beer. Adventurebeer.com Right. Oh. While my brain decides to come back to me, I'll tell you about some of the other beers they do. 200 Not Out is one of them, and that's the first beer that I actually had from Lantern Lane Brewery. Um, So let me find them, there we go. Lenton Lane Brewery. So these are the... So I like this. At Lenton Lane, we brew beers we like to drink ourselves. Yeah, it's always the best way, isn't it? You know, um, beers with the heart put into it. Um, obviously, you do get some breweries, naming no names, but there are breweries that brew some, right, not very good, bland beers. And... Uh, even though I'm struggling to pick out the flavour at the moment, it has got a, an aroma there. It's got a good taste to it, and even struggling to pick out the taste of that. Then what's up with me? So yeah, they brew 200 Not Out, Castle Chalk. Well, I've, I've reviewed that as well. Quite a collaboration brew with uh, Castle Rock Brewery. Very nice too. Atlas Stout, 30 Degrees North, Mosaic Smash, Pioneer, Pale Moonlight, Bluebird, and Gold Rush. And it hasn't got the Peco one on. So obviously he's sold out of that because he tends to um, take them off when he's sold out. Which hasn't helped me a bit. Peco Smash, Lenten Lane Brewery. Peco Smash. Here is Lenten Lane Brewery. So NG7, so it is actually on Lenten Lane. I'm going to have to do a blind taste test in a minute and uh, see it, see what see what I can come up with. But we've got a few minutes anyway. Already nine minutes in. Bloody hell. Oh. So, bloody wind. Miserable as they come again. 60 mile an hour winds. And uh, just open me gap. Me, me fence panels stay up because... Can't afford to do them just yet. I've got five fence panels at the back of this beer room. We put them up, oh bloody hell, about 15 years ago now. We had some right wanker neighbours at the back of us. We used to shout to our kids, shut up through the fence. 
and uh, you know how you are, you don't want to start any trouble, you know, you don't come, you don't want it on your doorstep. Um, and anyway, years later, I've seen these two, and uh, the they're both nothing. And they think to I, I looked at the bloke and the woman, I thought, because he moved near my sister, uh, different, another estate away. And I looked at him and thought, you're the fucking idiots that, you sh that shouted over the fence at my kids. Oh, so I was. But you do get them, don't you? That's the only problem. You do get some proper arseholes as neighbours. What is the, what is, um, the thing with, un <coughs> with untapped? There you go. I don't want people ringing me. Oh. Oh. There's not many times I'm stumped. Totally stumped. I'm getting some marmalade from somewhere. Don't ask me where. Right. I don't like being stumped. I don't like losing. Obviously I can smell hops. Is that marmalade I'm smelling? I mean, what I can say is it tastes good, so, you know. Nice soft bitterness in the back end. What is that taste? Oh, it's doing me nothing there. I can't even verify it because there's nothing on the internet that's uh, given me anything. It says it's a nice full body beer. What is the point of that shut site? Gotta say. Okay, I'm flummoxed at the moment. I can't think. I can't pick out the bloody flavour, which is ever so annoying. That must be the new neighbours. Now they've either got a cat, which won't be good for our dog, or they've got a child. Sounded like one or the other. I see me coming out of the beer room with um, bottles of beer in my hand. That not, that not look good, will it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm just having a drink in the shed. Yes. Let's hope they're not scumbag neighbours. There's plenty of them buggers about. Can't imagine that they're the renting it cheap either, because they don't these days. There's one round the corner on... on um, Edwards Lane near the city hospital, they want a thousand pounds a month for that. There's no way in God's green that it's worth anywhere near that. Six hundred, yeah, possibly. A thousand, no way. Peco Smash. Oh, I can't. I need to know which which one it is. 
So it's Marius Ottomar with plenty of Peko hops. And then someone's got a Peko, um, Imperial Peko smash. Nope, the internet's about as useful as the as you can get. Well, I'm beaten. I can't, for the life of me, pick out the, the aroma and the taste. I mean, I got what I got. Oh well, a bit defeat. You can't win them all. Is it the beer I've already had that's tainted my tastes? I don't know. No. I'm gutted. What I can say though, on a positive note, um, it's a very, very nice beer. It's going down a tree, even though I ain't got a clue what I'm tasting. Or uh, smelling even. Why is that? I lost my taste buds after that sign of coronavirus, that is. No, it tastes good, it's fine, but it's just... <laughs> right. Just then, I got a bit of Belgian wheat beer taste to it. Coming across more as a, like a Belgian ale. Yeah, the typical Belgian ale taste that is. Not quite Duvel, but certainly in that sort of area. Very interesting beer. And the nose now, all of a sudden, seems to be like that. And then there's nothing I get off the internet. The internet's absolutely useless. Not even to give me a point in the right direction. That's what I'm going to say it is anyway. Whether I'm right or wrong, don't know. But like I say, what I do know is really good tasty beer. Nice nose, great tasting throughout. My phone's died. Mm. And there you go. Yeah. Um, Inside the shed, I think it's just the floorboards wobbling. Don't ever buy B and M, B and M bargains, cheap floorboards. So when I did the beer, beer room, before I put the uh, I put the plasterboarding up, um, I put under under underground under under floor this foil wrap stuff, just to try and keep the heat in. You know, just fuck all. <coughs> and then I got spent to B and M, and I thought, well, I'm not paying for expensive stuff, cheap stuff will do. We don't use it that often. And I put this cheap stuff down and it's utter crap. I think it was only like five mil thick and it's crap. You're better off going for the thickest you can afford. And uh, so at some stage I'm going to have to do it again anyway. And it won't be until next year when I've got spare pennies. I can't be spending pennies on floors when there's beer needs buying. So... There's still an element I'm not getting. It's familiar, but I can't, I can't just pick it out. So annoying. And that's it for this beer review. Um, yeah, nice nose. Uh, I got marmalade. I got a Belgian style on, on the nose and, not, and on the taste. But I could be absolutely, sh you know, in the wind at the moment. Pissing in the wind, as it were. Um... But great taste throughout, really quite complex beer. It's uh, certainly blindsided me. I couldn't make out what I was drinking, not 100%. Anyway. Oh, I suppose there's always going to be one that beats you. Hey, 
Yeah. One. Mm. And, uh, as always, a good Nottinghamshire beer, you know. I, I like that. And the beer brewery that I'd never heard of until I started doing beer reviews. In fact, I'd never heard of it until I started going on um, adventurebeer.com. Which, um, you know, it's amazing how you've got breweries on your doorstep that you never knew existed. Little micro breweries and I don't know, you know, they're all there. So out of five then. Um, ooh. For me, about a 4.3 out of 5. Yeah. So my third review from these, because I also did Castle Chock and 200 Not Out, which was the champion beer of Nottinghamshire. Um, yeah, interesting beer. Um, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know. Uh, and if someone's drank this and watches the review and uh, put me in the right direction, was I right, was I wrong? You know, especially if any of the Lenton Lane Brewery people do watch this. You know, uh, yeah, put me in the wrong, right, you know, if I'm right. Uh, it's nice to know, it's just nice that you, 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 you know, you, you look, you're thinking, you, your brain's in the right direction. I don't know. I'll just put it down to the weather I've been in today, you know, working out in the rain all day. Claire, it'll be just when, oh my god. Right, I'm off upstairs. We're back to the house, it's absolutely shattered. Oh no, I am. I've got to get the fucking pots out of the car. Oh, I'm planting loads of plants at work, trying to get them out of my garden. I grew about 1,300 plants. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.